Before I got the position as the lead analyst um, with Jeff Buck, who's my partner, I didn't watch golf. It was amazing. I, I, for years, I mean, I may watch the back nine of the Masters, or I may watch the back nine of the US Open or the, any major championship on the last day. I mean, I wouldn't sit there from Thursday to Sunday and watch it. Now I watch golf and I work out. Right? And I turn the sound off and I look at the screen and I try to say to myself, okay, what would you say when you see that? So I'm teaching myself, I'm following the game, understanding the game and seeing who's doing what. Um, the other thing I enjoy doing too is talking to their, their respective coaches. And uh, I don't have much of a chance to talk to the players because I'm not out there week in, week out. But talking to the coaches and understanding what their player is thinking and their, um, where their demeanor is, their attitude, how they feel, confident, not confident. Um, and you know, because I think it's only fair that the information that I gather is information I should project out there, not speculation. You know, I think the job of a commentator um, is to be able to instill certain feelings about what you see without making it vanilla. We have to be able to shift out of the box every now and then because nobody's perfect. and We don't have to protect anybody. The only thing we really have to protect is the game of golf, right? And we have to protect the, the establishments and the USGA championships that we're working for. So for me, my responsibility is really to say what I see and how and why. And if I can get the how and why out there, then the public, the viewing public audience are gonna go, oh yeah, I got it, I didn't think about that, but yeah, I get it, what he's saying. And you have to respect what the USGA have done here. And the USGA basically have stepped out of the box by going to an unknown, which is Fox, that have been extremely successful and delivering a new way of viewing a sport, whether it's NFL or hockey or NASCAR, you can go down the list. So they have been have the ability in their technical department to be able to do something a little bit different. And you can't be, in golf, you can't be radically different because it's gonna, people, the viewing audience gonna go, wow, that's too much, that's too heavy for me. Well, you know, golfers, there's a side of tradition to them, but there's also a side of social media, the younger side that's very techy, very savvy. It's kind of like the merging of both of those is going to be very interesting. I know the team we have together, led by Joe Buck, led by Mark Loomis, um, is a great, fun team to be around. And I, I'm sure all the other networks have got, can say the same thing about their team, that they're fun to be around. But we're all fresh. We're all new to each other. So we have a lot of scope of change and adjustments and attitude and you know willingness to accept, okay, I screwed up a little bit today, I gotta be different tomorrow. Instead of, if you're stuck in the box being doing the same thing the same way for year after year after year after year after year, you are gonna be that, you're, you're programmed. We're yet to be programmed. We have this free approach to go with. And, uh, that's what it gets exciting for me.